possible solution, medical marijuana. A bill being considered right now in Albany would allow people suffering chronic pain to use medical marijuana. 7 Witness News reporter Hannah Bueller investigates. My pain every day increases a little bit more. Peter Fairchalk has been seeing pain management doctor Eugene Gosey for 11 years after he damaged his spine in a workplace accident. Now with Gosey's office closed and not accepting insurance, Peter says he's trying to stretch his pain medicine as far as he can. I've just cut myself way back just to hopefully make it through to if he reopens getting a refill on my script. But in other parts of the country, patients with chronic pain are finding relief with medical marijuana. While medical marijuana is legal in New York State, it can only be used to treat pain if that pain is neurologic in nature. But there's a bill on the assembly floor to include chronic pain. It's something medical directors at Dent Neurologic, like Dr. Laszlo Metzler, say could help these patients if they're given the chance. Undoubtedly, um, the literature has been going on for several years. We know historically individuals who are on medical marijuana take less opiates. I spoke with Dr. Meschler via FaceTime tonight. He was recently in Albany lobbying for the inclusion of chronic pain in New York's medical marijuana program. If you want to uh, resolve the opiate epidemic going on in the United States, then I would highly consider uh, changing the medical marijuana program to include patients who have chronic benign pain. Fairchalk says he would be willing to try anything to alleviate his pain. It might be an option because these people seem to be getting a lot of relief from their pain and even like vets with the PTSD are getting a lot of relief with that that they can't get with other, other narcotics. So, but as of right now, we all know that that's, that's not here. Lawmakers tell me medical marijuana could be a good long-term solution to the opiate crisis, but it could be a while before the assembly could pass that bill because the medical marijuana program just started back in January. I did speak with some other go see patients tonight who tell me they would be reluctant to try medical marijuana as an alternative because they tell me they like their pain pills. Tonight, I am live in the newsroom. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Hannah.